Paronychia is a soft tissue infection around a fingernail. It begins as cellulitis and eventually may progress to a definite abscess. Two forms of the disease have been identified, acute paronychia and chronic paronychia. These two types usually differ in causative organisms and the treatment. Acute paronychia usually results from a traumatic event, such as hangnails, or from activities like nail biting, finger sucking, manicuring, or artificial nail placement. Causative organisms include Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus species, Pseudomonas species, Gram-negative bacteria, anaerobic bacteria, and Fusarium species. Chronic paronychia is caused primarily by the fungus Candida albicans. Other rare causes of chronic paronychia include bacterial, mycobacterial, or viral infection, metastatic cancer, subungual melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and Raynaud's disease. Chronic paronychia most often occurs in persons whose hands are repeatedly exposed to moist environments or in those who have prolonged and repeated contact with irritants such as mild acids, mild alkalis, or other chemicals. Therefore, individuals like housekeepers, dishwashers, bartenders, florists, bakers, and swimmers are at a higher risk of developing chronic paronychia. In addition, immunosuppression, such as HIV infection or steroid therapy, also increases the risk of chronic paronychia. Other conditions that increase the risk of paronychia include psoriasis, candidiasis, and drug toxicity from medications like retinoids. In acute paronychia, the patient is usually otherwise healthy, but complains of pain, tenderness, and swelling in one of the lateral folds of the nail. In severe cases, pus collections under the lateral folds may be seen. Sometimes, the nail is raised from the nail bed due to pus collection. In chronic paronychia, patients report symptoms lasting six weeks or longer. Inflammation, pain, and swelling may occur episodically, often after an exposure to water or a moist environment. Acute paronychia without obvious abscess can be treated non-surgically. Warm soaks three to four times a day help resolve soft tissue swelling. Patients with extensive surrounding cellulitis or with a history of diabetes, peripheral vascular disease, or an immunocompromised state may benefit from a short course of antibiotics. Commonly used ones include antistaphylococcal penicillins, first-generation cephalosporins, clindamycin, and coamoxiclav. If an abscess has developed, incision and drainage must be performed. 